Hello boys and girls, guess what time it is? It's story time! Hello everybody, this is Miss Marcia with another story time. So let's sing our song together. It's story time, it's story time, you haven't got to pay a dime. If you want to have some fun, get a comfy seat and sit right down. Now listen very carefully, for you can learn as much as me. Make believe in what you hear, these stories I shall read to you. La 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 Okay, before we get into the story, don't forget, if you are not subscribed yet, to subscribe. Click on the red and tap on it and subscribe. Click that notification bell so that you will not miss another story time with Miss Marcia. So let us continue with the story. And our story today is The Princess and the Pea. The Princess and the Pea. Written by, retold and illustrated by Rachel Isadora, the princess and the pea. And it's a Caldecott on a winner. Once upon a time, the prince wanted to marry a real princess. So he traveled all over the world in the hopes of finding such a lady. He met many princesses, but it was difficult to tell whether they were the real ones. These are all the princesses that he's meeting. But he wasn't sure if he'll his if he's finding the real one, if they're all real. So they're saying different things. Jambo Habari. So they're greeting each other. There was something about each princess that was not quite right. So the prince came home again and was sad. Look at his face. He's all sad. He's ready to get married and he cannot find a princess. One evening, there was a terrible storm. Suddenly, a knocking was heard on the gate and the old king went to open it. See, it was so windy. Wow. There was a princess standing at the gate. But good gracious, what a sight the rain and the wind had made her look. You see her? And yet, she said she was a real princess. Ah, we shall soon find out if she is real, said the queen. So she went into the bedroom where she laid a pea under the bedstead. Then she took 20 mattresses and laid them on the pea and then put 20 feather beds on top of the mattresses. Hmm. On this, the princess had to lie down all night. There she is. It was so high that she had to use a ladder to go up there. The next morning, the princess was asked, the princess was asked how she had slept. 
Oh, very badly, said the princess. I scarcely closed my eyes all night. Heaven only knows what was in the bed, but I was lying on something hard so that I am black and blue all over. That's terrible, said the king. Do you think that's the test that they're going to find out? Now, they knew that she was a real princess because she had felt the pee right through the 20 mattresses and the 20 feather beds. Nobody but a real princess will be as sensitive as that. See the pee? The queen has the pee in her hand. That was the test. So the prince took the princess for his wife. So they have in a marriage ceremony. They're getting married. The pea was put in a museum where it may still be seen if no one has stolen it. There. That is a true story. The end. I hope you enjoy this different variation of the princess and the pea. And if you did, do not forget to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, and put a comment. I like to hear from you. So take care now and bye.